I do winter driving inspections on all my older diesels. And in a previous video, I talk about what are the things I check and when I do it, I like to use Halloween as my marker to remember, hey, it's time to get those diesels ready for winter. But in this inspection, there's one thing that I spotted that I want to change. Uh, I'm very concerned about fuel issues, fuel leaks, fuel fillers, all those types of issues can really leave you stranded. And you know, when, it, when for some reason, winter seems to aggravate these problems. It has a lot to do with temperature. Temperature makes rubber and plastic more brittle. It also makes the fuel in your fuel filters um, much more viscous and that will sometimes cause a fuel filter to, to start to plug up just because you know there's dirt and crud in there and you add the element of cold temperature. So as I said in a previous video, you know, fuel systems, fuel filters, that's one thing I really go after in my pre-winter driving inspections that I do. So in this one, I want to change one of my plastic hard lines. There's three of them that go, that connect to the fuel filter housing in these old uh, 617, 616 diesels. And I noticed one you can see here, it's, it's starting to show signs of wear and cracking around the nipple. This is where they usually fail. I had one of these fail one time and you cannot believe the amount of fuel you will literally um, dump on the road. I mean, if they crack, the engine will still keep running, but you're talking gallons of fuel pumping out. So you wanna pay particularly attention to these hard lines. And it brings up another issue and that's the issue of dealing with banjo fittings. Banjo fittings are used throughout these older Mercedes to um, on the fuel lines and on the transmission lines. It allows uh, you to direct the position of the hose and then tighten the fitting down. So I wanna, this is a typical um, fuel filter housing here. And I wanna talk a little bit about some of the issues when dealing with these banjo fittings, particularly the banjo fitting aluminum ceiling washers that go along with them. This is a classic banjo fitting. If you look at it closely, I guess you could say it kind of looks a little bit like a banjo. In this case, it's connected to a hard plastic hose, which goes over to the inlet or outlet of this uh, diesel fuel filter housing here. Now you can see the advantage of a banjo fitting in that it can be moved any direction so you can either align the inlet or the outlet hose and then all you need to do is tighten the bolt down rather than having some fitting that you have to try to screw in and maybe it doesn't line up perfectly. So these type of banjo fittings are used a lot on the fuel systems on both gas and diesel Mercedes. They're also used on the transmission uh, for the transmission cooler lines. Now when you remove a banjo fitting you'll start to remove the bolt like this and you'll notice right here there's a washer on both sides. Both sides of the banjo fitting between the housing and, and the bolt and the banjo fitting. And a lot of times when you pull these off to either replace the hose or do maintenance, you may find that these aluminum washers are badly scored up like this. Now a lot of times you're going to be in a position where you may not have washers on hand and you th may think, well, should I, can I reuse them? A lot of times I reuse them. This one here is, uh, it's really scored on that side. So what I do is I take a flat surface like a piece of glass and some 320 sandpaper and a little bit of water and you can, you can sand these washers a little bit to smooth them out so they can be reused. If they're totally crushed and smashed out like I've seen, uh, here's one that's, that's really smashed out. You can see there that that one you might not want to reuse. It's getting a little thin. But if you're careful, you can reuse those washers in most cases. The trick is how you tighten it down. And I want to go ahead and show you how I use a tightening sequence to make sure I get proper seating of these washers anytime you are working on a banjo fitting. To prevent leaks at the banjo fitting, it's really important that this be tightened properly. And when you're reusing old washers, it's even more critical that it be done properly. You want to turn it down 
uh, finger tight and kind of get your alignment where you want it. But I've seen more problems with over tightening. You know, heavy handed over tightening does more damage to those washers than under tightening. So in practice, what you want to do is tighten it down to where it's snug and drive the car. If it leaks, then just tighten a little bit more. Don't just reef down on it. You're going to over crush that aluminum washer and that's what primarily causes the leaks. But here's a little trick I use. You want to you want to seat. When you're tightening this down, you want to seat the washer. You're going to have to hang on to the hose here to keep it from rotating. Watch what happens if I don't. It'll rotate and it'll turn into this uh, bolt head here. So it's kind of important to hang on and keep your alignment here. And then what you do is you tighten it down till it's snug. Just give it a little bit of snugness and then back it off and then do it again and then back it off and then do it a third or fourth time until it's snug. What that does by tightening and backing off and tightening and backing off, it helps to seat or reseat those aluminum washers. And that's the best thing you can do to prevent leaks when you plan to reuse the original crush washer. When doing your own inspection, if you find that your plastic hard fuel lines are showing signs of deterioration and potential failure, we do currently carry the two shorter uh, hoses on our website. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have these available. We're finding a lot of these older diesel parts are starting to disappear and they're no longer manufactured. The long one coming from the pump up to the top of the filter we, we cannot obtain. But check out one of my other videos where I talk about using a regular hose as a replacement in a pinch. We also carry some sizes of the crush washer, so if you know you're going to be doing this type of maintenance, you want to maybe order those aluminum washers ahead of time, or even have a few on hand if you do a lot of diesel work yourself. So I hope, I hope you found that tip helpful, and let's keep that diesel off the roads as we drive these old Benzes.